I set up one of my kayaks here at Kittapeet State Park in the backyard of one of their lodges so I can show you how I set up my kayaks. This is the Ocean Kayak Triton 13. The first thing I do when I'm rigging the boat is add a second stern handle. Adding two stern handles really helps when you're trying to pull the boat onto your truck. Just gives you a little bit extra handles to work with. I strip the rigging so I can paint the bow of my boat. I painted the bow of my first touring kayak as a way to cut down on the bright color of the boat as I was going to be sitting on it for 8 to 10 hours a day. I like having a brightly colored kayak for visibility to others on the water, but from my perspective, it looks like I'm riding a dark color boat. In the fishing aspect, the color really blends in with water, which improves my visual field, especially when sight casting. It's like when a fighter pilot would paint the nose of his plane. I change out the hatch straps to like the old style ocean kayaks, so I can still slide my paddle under as a temporary paddle holder. I install two flush mount forward rod holders. I got really used to the old ocean kayak foot molding. So I installed a second foot peg for my heels. I also bring the top peg closer to my toes to get a little bit more leverage when I'm paddling. I move back the side handles and the seat strap so when I land the fish using a leg scoop, the eyelid isn't pushing into the back of my thigh. I install the Surf to Summit GTS sports seat because I like the low back for fishing. It's easier to maneuver around and to have full rotation of my back when huh. I'm dealing with a fish. <laughs> I move the paddle holder forward on my right side. That's just where I like it. Real simple anchor trolley. Just a good rope, stainless carabiners and deck loops with the carabiner in the middle. Nothing fancy. That's the basic stuff. The main thing is keeping it real simple and having nothing that's sticking up out in front of me. Nothing that's gonna snag a line yeah. or get in the way of a big fish landing here on the deck. Oh yeah. My crate holds a lot of weight. Not only does it have everything I need at arm's reach, but it's gotta hold my heavy cameras and keep those steady with the kayak. The crate is set higher by installing deck loops and rods and having the crate sit on top of the rods. Everything is zip tied tight. My camera mount is a tripod simply zip tied to the crate. Really zip tied. Overkill is not an issue here. You want that thing to be super secure to the crate and tight. We can literally pick up our kayaks with our camera mounts. The bow camera mount is a simple bungee and two deck loops. When I'm fishing alone, to get that extra third angle, I have a simple monopod beefed up with a little bit of foam so it fits snug right in my forward rod holders. When I'm asked what kind of rigging do I need to go fishing, you don't need any rigging to go fishing. Before you do any kayak modifications, get out and go fishing and figure out what you need to rig up while you're on the water. You really don't need a lot to get out there and get on them. <laughs>